combat style mods. They're one of Dusty 2's core mechanics and have in recent years become the source of old build crafting. Kinda ironic given both Elemental Wells and Church with Light had very lukewarm receptions at launch were now pretty important if you want to do absurd shit like this. Wouldn't surprise me if at some point we saw another combat style series be added in a future season. However, there is one combat style series that feels like it's been forgotten recently. Warmind Cells, one of the biggest enigmas in Destiny history in my eyes. Released in Season 10, they were kinda swept under the rug at launch. Mainly because Season 10 had one of the weakest seasonal launches to date. The other reason Warmind Cells weren't talked about as much was because they required two specific faction weapons to work. The Aikolo series, and the Seven Seraph series. While these weapons are not bad, getting a good roll of the weapon you wanted could be challenging. However, it did not take long for the community to realize one simple fact about Warmind Cells. You got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Yeah, building glowing balls of mass destruction was extremely easy and great for anything involving room clearing. And that was all there was to really build. Sure, there were some other popular builds, I know building tankiness was a big thing for a while with Fireteam Medic and Warmind Protection, but since this is Destiny, everyone gravitated to the Nuke the Room build. What enabled this to get so popular as well was the hyper on the Ikelos SMG. This thing was a monster for a while, and even though its perk selection wasn't great, its damage output and ability to make Warmind Cells really boosted its popularity, to the point where Bungie had to reinstate it before it got sunset so Warmind Cells wouldn't go away. But therein lines one of the biggest problems with Warmind Cells. Their creation was mostly carried by Ikelos. Not saying it was the only way to make Warmind Cells, since Wrath of Rasputin was a popular alternative, However, this took up a precious mod slot that could have been used for amping your power. One of the biggest aspects of Warmind Cells as a whole was that unlike other mod series, where there are mods that set up an action, Warmind Cells don't have that. For example, Charged with Light, you perform an action, getting a kill with X weapon, picking up an Orb of Light or Elemental Well, etc., and then you catalyze said stacks of Charged with Light to get a result. Warmind Cells don't have a normal setup mod, which leads to all Warmind Cell mods being built into catalyzing the cells that drop. So apart from Wrath of Rasputin, or somewhat grasp of the Warmind, there's no way to properly set up Warmind Cells. I wouldn't say it killed Warmind Cells, but the cracks of the Warmind Empire were beginning to show. Then the inevitable hit. Warmind Cells got nerfed hard. Global Reach got a mod cost increase, meaning you couldn't stack it super easily. Warmind Cells also as a whole got a massive range of damage nerf, making them less effective for their biggest draw, nuking rooms. Most of the other mods couldn't compete with subclass abilities, let alone the strength that was the room clearing build. And thus, that was the end of the Warmind Cell Saga. Bungie has yet to add more Warmind Cell mods, and we haven't gotten new weapons that can make them as of recent. So what does that leave it for the future of Warmind Cells? If I were a pessimist, I would say they're dead in the water, never to return to the game's meta. However, I believe there is something that can be done with Warmind Cells. For starters, a better way to create them would be helpful. While this could just be more Warmind themed weapons, I think having more armor mods to create cells would be better as it would open up more of the player's arsenal to the function of Warmind Cells. Additionally, having new mods added would help given that we have several new additions both mechanic-wise and subclass-wise. Elemental Wells, Stasis, Void 3.0, Solar 3.0, and soon to be Arc 3.0. Warmind Cells could have more function than just super nukes. Cellular Suppression, while possibly needing the second half of its effect removed, is a good start, but also having mods for weakening or applying volatile could be handy. The Arc mods have had underwhelming results, so though we don't know what Arc 3.0 looks like, so who knows, maybe Chain Lightning will be a future meta. However, I'm certain even without it, there are possible changes to arc mods that can be made. Plus, the idea of stasis warming cells opens up new build possibilities. The other big change would be a level of consistency with warming cell creation. Both Elemental Wells and Charged with Light have had relative consistency with what the requirement is to get started. However, Warmind Cells are complete RNG for when they drop, and while they drop frequently, being able to control when one drops would assist greatly. Alternatively, Grasp of the Warmind could just become an intrinsic perk for cells, but I could also see that becoming overpowered, so I'll let that be an argument for the comments. 
Ultimately, what becomes of these balls of destruction is up to Bungie and if they feel like continuing the mod series or just creating a new one and sweeping cells under the rug. Hopefully they do create more mods so I can make a video saying they're poopy garbage and that cells don't one-shot Atheon. 